Hi, I'm Eileen Bild. I am creative of the Core Thinking Group at Harvard Brown, and I am with Prosper on the Prosperity Show. And we're talking about uh, how to reach your highest potential and uh, drive for growth and becoming the best person uh, that you can be and living life to the fullest. Now, welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity Show. And today, we've got the creator of the core thinking for high achievers itself, Eileen. Eileen, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, Pastor. Thank you. Fantastic. Now, Eileen is the creator of core thinking for high achievers. And you may have heard of the thinking wheel of evolution or had dynamic program called the core thinking blueprint. Now, as you would understand, um, ladies and gentlemen in, in the audience there, you would know that we are always seeking out experts in their field, um, you know, to help us have businesses that are prosperous and also you can enjoy working in them. Now, my question to you right now is, are you ready to live a life to the fullest and go from ordinary too extraordinary. That's the reason why we've got Eileen here today so that she can elaborate to us what that actually means to have an extraordinary existence. Now, thank you so much, Eileen. Eileen, tell us a little bit about your story and how you came from ordinary to extraordinary. Wow, that's a great question, Prosper. Uh, I had uh, been suffering from a debilitating condition called fibromyalgia and when that uh, took its toll on my body, my mind, my spirit, my soul, to where I, I couldn't function anymore, I decided my life needed to change and that was the turning point when I basically uh, took my will and I overcame the condition and that started me on a path of studying and learning a little bit more about the mind and how powerful the mind and our thinking is in uh, uh, all being able to create the kind of life that we want. And so um, I uh, received my master's in transpersonal psychology. And then after that, I became a life coach. So the combination of my training uh, with both the master's and the life coaching, I've learned uh, that we have the power within ourselves to create the kind of life we want and to really uh, look into and discover what's at our core and that blueprint that's in our core is our authentic self, authentic self. Through that authentic self, we can uh, find our purpose and passion. And when we're in our purpose and passion, life becomes extraordinary. It can't be anything other than that. Understandable. Thank you so much for that, um, you know, enlightening story. So you did mention purpose and passion. A lot of people do not understand both those words or they're just buzzwords that are being said out, you know, by the new age coaches and uh, some people out there on the internet. What exactly is someone's passion? Passion is something that when you're in it, when you're participating with it, nothing else matters. It's, it's like you're in this zone and uh, nothing can interfere or take it away from you. It's, it doesn't drain you. You could, you could be awake for hours and hours and hours and, and it goes by like that. Or at the end of doing whatever it is that you're doing, uh, you're not tired and you're not drained. And it, it sparks something in you something that uh, inspires you and in return you inspire others. Understandable. Obviously in life we're here to live, we're here to learn and we're here to contribute. So obviously that's where, you know, inspiring others, um, you know, comes in in the contribution phase there. Before you are able to contribute or before you're able to inspire others, you have to sort of work on yourself as a person. What sort of activities would you encourage people to do um, in order for them to fill themselves up first um, so they are on their path to core thinking? Absolutely. Uh, Self-empowerment and, and self-development and growth is very important. 
because uh, one of the things that, that is, is good is meditation. And it's not the um meditation, but it's really tuning into the uh, intuitive self and trusting the process, trusting where you're taking yourself, trusting what's coming to you and the response that you give back to what comes to you. Life is polarity. And we can uh, engage with the polarity to where it's minimal. And it's learning to understand that what comes to us, it's our response to that as to what takes us on that next step. So it's being uh, practicing uh, being more aware, practicing what I call the power of the pause, taking time to stop and really listen and really hear and feel what, what's happening in your experience, whether it's, it's by yourself or with other people. So it's about communication and really understand what are your communication skills and uh, are you having healthy communication back and forth with the people that are in your life and what are the outcomes? So it's, it's watch, wait, and listen. Take action and see what the result is. If it's in the direction you want, then you know you're doing the right things for your highest achievement or your vision and goal that you're trying to achieve. If you keep stumbling or hitting your head against the wall, then it's to change something. Because out here is not going to change. Change has got to come from within the self. Thank so you. Just a few Right. Thank you so much. Obviously, um, in, in that last response, you mentioned clarity and, you know, change. We as humans, we are um, creatures of habits. So there's certain habits that one person has to maybe undergo or undertake in order for them to actually start having core thinking, um, you know, uh, abilities within them or setting goals in order for them to have the, the clarity. So what sort of habits would you um, recommend that people would, um, you know, start instilling within themselves? I think uh, one of the key habits would be to understand in order to be understood. So it's to um, take in the surroundings and understand the direction in which things are going for yourself. If it feels good, then you know you're going in the right direction. If it doesn't feel good, then what are you not understanding? What's not being, what's not clear in the direction that you're going? Correct. So in your um, coaching, you take people through an eight step uh, process of, over a blueprint. Um, maybe if you can just elaborate to us what sort of people are you looking to work with that would um, find benefit um, you know using this eight-step process that you have the uh, ideal clients for this program would be leaders and CEOs executives people who are leading other people and through the program it helps them to maximize their performance to reach their own highest potential so that through their leadership, their skills are more refined, their uh, ability for recognizing where their drive for growth is and how that can inspire others, their um, ability to communicate, to connect, becomes stronger. And through the process, uh, whatever areas of their, their personal and professional life that's interwoven, uh, becomes stronger and there's a um, better connection with himself as well as with those around them. Understandable because for you to be an ample leader you have to have followers and people follow somebody who's got some sort of a direction and who's in tune with themselves. Now what sort of responses have you been getting or when people complete your course what sort of testimonials do they leave with you um, regarding you know the changes that have, they have um, undergone after taking your eight-step uh, process? The uh, changes that, that have been really key for those who take this program is uh, it's almost like a reset, like a, like a 
blueprint that's been um, redone in a way that the foundation from which they're operating from is much stronger and their perceptions are at a higher level of awareness. And through that awareness, they hear things, they see things in a different way than before, but they didn't realize they were not observing life and, and going through life in the way that they're now going through. And there's a ripple effect. So whatever they go through uh, in the process of this program, it helps with uh, those around them and those around them is also rippling out and it's tangible. So one of the key things that, that people have said is immediately they can see results. And it's tangible, it's visible, it's physical, and it causes them to want more because the changes are real and the transformation is real. Understandable. Thank you so much for making a difference with um, the work that you're doing. Um, obviously, amongst the work that you uh, put out there, they would be a comment on goal setting. And as you know, you know, goals give life direction and purpose, like you've just mentioned before. Without them, people are just drifting through, um, you know, um, their 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 own existence. What what is your take on people that are not setting goals if they are on the path? Um, you know, to, to core thinking or to actually have an extraordinary life? If we don't have goals and we don't have a, a vision of where we want to be and what that end point is, then you're going to stumble along the way because there's no set points. There's no um, definitive uh, stepping stones. And a lot of times it's having that vision and then looking back and taking those steps and knowing in order to get here we have to take these steps otherwise this envision may just keep being pushed out because you know, the, the steps designed by you to reach that vision uh, either they disappear or they they're not in alignment with whatever that end goal is great stuff so with all this success that people would be experiencing they're now living life to the fullest and they've gone from you know ordinary to extraordinary how important is gratitude um you know as one of the values that one should possess in order for them uh to be a high achiever gratitude wow I, there's, a, there's a term i use called gratitude attitude and uh, it's to be able to wake up in the morning and even just be grateful that you're able to wake up. Because life is short and, and there is no rerun for life. And in order to be able to go from today to tomorrow, if we're grateful for whatever little there is or whatever big that comes into our life, then it makes tomorrow an even better day for us because we allow ourselves to feel uplifted and joyful and happy. And living on to the fullest. Great. Now, you know, Eileen, you would understand that our viewers are usually entrepreneurs and people that are seeking to have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. Most of them are already starting to um, you know, pave their way towards being a higher achiever. They could have been watching this and, um, you know, enjoyed your insights on all of this and also might be interested in the core thinking blueprint. How can people get a hold of you? They can reach me at uh, my website, www.eileenbuild.com. I'm also on LinkedIn, Eileen Build understandable i'll be putting in all those uh links at the bottom so that um you know you can get in touch with um eileen and you can start um your journey towards being coming a higher achiever now eileen you could have one last um you know message that you can have to that one person who's really really uh seeking out their highest potential and wants to take the next steps so that they can reach their goals and visions and desires. What would you tell that person? 
I would probably tell that person to believe in themselves and to trust in the process that they're going through and to know that they deserve and they can reach their highest potential. Understandable. Well, thank you so much, Eileen, for your time, your expertise, and also availing us to your program so that um, all these other aspiring higher achievers can also be in touch with you so they can learn from you, um, you know, all the things that they need in order to be, do, and have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. Thank you so much once again. You're welcome. Bye.